first and foremost, I want to say hi. My name is Rigo, and I was born premature, five months premature, and I was born this way. And I didn't get to start walking when I was uh, six years old, seven years old. Um, the doctor said I wasn't going to live. He said I wasn't going to make it. And so when I started walking with nine years old, ten years old, I started walking and knew about the street life. And uh, when I was uh, 15 years old, and um, if I was in and out of uh, jail, I was getting incarcerated. Around that age, I didn't know what to turn to, so I was still doing uh, heavy drugs. When I was doing the drugs, I felt more at peace. I felt more happy. I was with people around my apartment. I was uh, trying to trying to fit in with the wrong crowd. And like, I never liked game game, but I knew about that, like that lifestyle. They were teaching me because I didn't have my mom and my dad. I didn't know what to turn to, so I turned to, my, to the homies and the street life and smoking and drinking. And I thought that was a part of life that I, I was brought into. I found a girlfriend that was a Christian. She was a Christian and she was trying to help me to, to um, save my life, to come to Jesus. But I didn't want to know about Jesus Christ. I thought it was a, just a book just so we could read, so we could, uh, uh, just so we could take away our sins. Just a bunch of rules that I thought it was. We broke up at that time. One day my brother called me he called me and he told me to, to give my life to Christ. And I, I didn't want to give my life to Christ because I thought uh, Jesus wasn't real. I thought it was just a fairy tale. I thought it wasn't, I, I thought the book was a fairy tale, like the Bible. I, I really thought that it wasn't going to be, uh, be able to change me. And it didn't change me then. Even when I got baptized, it didn't change me. Then my brother passed away. I started drinking. I started like uh, drinking a lot. Um, I wanted to commit suicide suicide on my on my brain because I was I was living that lifestyle you know I wasn't gonna make it out the neighborhood if I didn't give my life to Christ but I had a rough path I was an uh, alcoholic I was a drug addict I, I I didn't know what to turn to so I wanted to turn to my big friends to give me advice because my dad wasn't around my mom she passed away and I started doing more drugs I just don't want to glorify the past because that's that's not longer me. I'm a new creation in Christ, and Christ um, gave me a new life to breathe, and now I serve the living God, Jesus Christ. I went to a barber shop, and that's the time that when I encountered Jesus Christ for the first time ever. I started acting a fake Christian. I was a fake Christian. I was a, wasn't living it out. I just wanted a job. I wanted to work at a restaurant called Victor's Mexican Grill. I wanted to work there, so I would go in there and raise my hands and say, thank you, Jesus, and, and the pastor would be like, Oh, he's going to be used, and I'll get on my knees. That in my mind, the enemy was playing tricks on me. Like, the enemy was telling me, oh, you're going to you're gonna do this because you want a job. And I was like, no, I believe in Jesus. And then the enemy was telling me, no, um, you're doing this because you want a job. When I got the job, I, I left the church, and I went to go drink, you know? And it's crazy because four days later, I went back into that church, and I went, I went and I, and I took the cracker, they cracked the bread, and then um, you drink the juice. And um, I got to my knees, and I heard my mom's voice. Honest truth, I heard my mom's voice. I'm not joking. I heard my mom's voice, and she said in Spanish, That means that she was happy I gave my life to Christ. The only person that could show you these things is Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Everything changed, man. Everything, like, everything changed the way that the world... Uh, pursue me to be, it changed my whole life because I encounter somebody that really loves me, somebody that really cares for me, someone that gives you a hug and tells you I'm here for you, even when you're in your lowest. And there was another time when I started really walking my faith out for real school, when I started walking my faith, I was worshiping with the brother in Christ, and I heard my mom's voice again, and, and she told me, son, I can't wait till I can see you up in heaven. And I cried out to Jesus, and I said, Jesus, this is my mom. Because I wanted to know because of my condition, my sorrow palsy, like I was, I was nervous. I wasn't nervous, I was just sad because she was here and she did everything for me. So my dad did it and my dad left me. I looked up to my mom, I looked up to her because she, she did everything for me. She even saved my life. If you want to talk physically, she saved my life. Like she took me to the doctor so I could be born here on earth and I could be, the, so I could be a better man here on earth. Now I know how to be a man on this earth. Because of my mom, because of Jesus Christ, too. Because Jesus Christ gave me a better life. You don't know what to turn to. You can look up scriptures, you know, and you can find yourself to, to, to see 
if God could change your life. You know, it's not a religion. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ and Nazareth. It's a relationship. And when you have a relationship with Jesus, everything else changes because the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, seek the kingdom first and everything else will be added on to you. So when you add the relationship with God, you see the difference from the, the respectful of the world. You see people dip and you'll have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So that's why I came to Christ and he changed the, the new life in me. I'm just thankful and grateful, man. I, I give it to the most high God. And he's like the truth, the way, and the life. No other man comes to the Father except through him. So I'm just excited that he changes my life because at the time I didn't know the change. I didn't know my life is, is a lot better. I'm smiling better. I'm happy. I'm smiling, making be in the light to the world now. And people love me the way I am now. My family, they see my walk. I'm being the light to my family. I'm being light to, to the Christian community, to this world, because this world has has seen the, the change in me. When I was uh, in the darkness, I, I didn't know how to speak to people, not even behind the camera. I, I didn't. I didn't know anything, how to, um, how to interact with people. And now that I really know that God gave me this gift to be behind the camera, to do YouTube videos for around the world for the Jesus Christ and Nazareth. And that's why I'm thankful and grateful that he gave me this gift to be out here with you guys all around the world. I just want you to be plugged in in the church, be plugged in, be submitted somewhere, and have a, have a somewhere to stay and have a accountability partners and having a pastor to talk to you and having a conversation with your leaders to keep you going to the path of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will help you even if you're in your lowest, even if you're going through it, even if you don't know the Bible, you just pray to him and say, Jesus, I don't know you, but I know that you live in me. I want you to help me because I don't want to go back into to society and the culture and the world because there's nothing out there in the world. I already, I already taste the world. I already seen everything in the life that it didn't bring me no, no good. It just brought me harm. He washes you from the inside out. You know, he washes you from the inside out. He, he helps you to, to know that he's there for you. You know, do you keep drinking? No. Do you keep sinning? No. You start you start realizing like it's not good for you. You start getting convictions. You start getting worried about, about certain things and your mind will say, oh, you're not good enough. That's a lie from the enemy because we're all good in God's image. In John 14, 27, it says the world can't give you peace because the world don't want to understand the peace of God. So when the peace of God comes to you, then, then the peace of God helps you to, to glorify him on this earth.